Welcome to DX Sudoku Beginner's Guide. In this video, we will provide you a beginner's guide to solving Sudoku puzzles. This video has five parts. We begin by talking about the definition of a Sudoku puzzle. We then talk about the basic terminology, puzzle solving strategy, and several puzzle solving techniques. And then we finally show you how to solve a Sudoku puzzle with a step-by-step -step example. In this section of the video, we are going to talk about what is a Sudoku puzzle. A Sudoku puzzle is composed of a 9 by 9 grid of numbers. The numbers already filled out in black are called givens. The givens in a Sudoku puzzle are usually colored in black. Each number location is called a cell. In a 9 by 9 grid there are 81 cells. Next consider the following completed Sudoku puzzle. The goal in solving the puzzle is to fill out the numbers 1 through 9 so that each number 1 through 9 only occurs once in each row, column, and 3 by 3 block. The numbers we fill out as we solve the puzzle are called values. The values we put in are colored in blue. Take a closer look at how the numbers occur in the puzzle. It is important to notice how each row, each column, and each 3 by 3 block has each number 1 through 9 only once. This only once idea is key in coming up with logic to decide which value we should pick for a cell. A house in Sudoku is a group of numbers of 1 through 9 where each number occurs only once. A house can be a row, column, or 3x3 three three block. There are 27 houses in a Sudoku puzzle. Here are the 9 row type houses for this puzzle. Here are the 9 column type houses for this puzzle. We use the term house when we talk about how numbers must exist in a Sudoku puzzle. We will say a cell must be the number x because the house making up row y or column y or block y must have at least one x in it. Here are the nine block type houses for this puzzle. We refer to the top row of blocks as blocks 1, 2, and 3. We refer to the middle row as blocks 4, 5, and 6. And we refer to the bottom row as blocks 7, 8, and 9. Sometimes the word box is used instead of the word block. In DX Sudoku videos, we will use the word block throughout. We are now showing how the rows and columns are numbered. The columns are numbered 1 through 9 from left to right as shown. The rows are numbered 1 through 9 from top to bottom as shown. Cells can be referenced by row and column number. For example, the cell 2, 3 is highlighted with a black box. It contains an 8 as a given. 2, 3 stands for row 2, column 3 as shown. Often cells are referenced by the notation R2, C3 for row 2, column 3. The notation R2, C3 equals 8 is used to say a cell should have a value of 8 or a cell has a value of 8. Sometimes the cell referencing notation R2C3 is written in lowercase. Every cell in the Sudoku puzzle is shared by three houses, one row, one column, and one 3x3 three three block. For cell 2, 5, the three shared houses are outlined. The house making up the row is highlighted in blue, the house making up the column is highlighted in green, and the house making up the block is highlighted in red. What this means is the cell 2, 5 is a member of the house making up row 2, the house making up column 5, and the house making up block 2. What numbers we can possibly choose for the cell 2, 5 are determined by the numbers occurring in the three shared houses. Notice the tiny numbers in cell row 2, column 5. These are called possible candidates. What this means is the tiny numbers showing up in the cell are the numbers the cell could possibly be. It is important to understand how these possible candidates are determined. The possible candidates are determined by the contents of the three houses being shared by cell 2, 5. The current row 2 house numbers are 1, 2, 7, and 8. The current column 4 house number is 6. And the current block 2 house numbers are 1 and 2. From all the numbers 1 through 9, what is missing is 3, 4, 5, and 9. The missing numbers 3, 4, 5, and 9 are what we put in as the possible candidates for cell 2, 5. We have filled out all the possible candidates for each cell. Just as before, what possible candidates we put into each cell is determined by what numbers occur in the three intersecting shared houses. Take a moment and verify which possible candidates should be in one or two cells. Identifying possible candidates is an important part of solving a Sudoku puzzle you should always be able to determine what possible candidates go into a cell. 
Notice the cell 3, 8 and the cell 7, 2. Both these cells have only one possible remaining candidate based on the intersection. This is known as a naked single. We have selected the one remaining possible candidate for each cell. Notice the values we put in as we solve the puzzle are colored in blue. The numbers in black are the original givens. We now have two cells filled out which are shown with blue colored numbers. At this point we will discuss our basic strategy we will be using when solving a Sudoku puzzle. Our main goal in solving the puzzle is using puzzle solving techniques to do two things. First we eliminate all possible candidates from a cell until we have only one remaining. We then choose the one remaining possible candidate as the value of the cell. Or, second, we deduce that a cell must be a certain number based on some reason or logic. Notice after we put in the two values, we found it eliminated a possible 5 candidate from the cell 3, 9 now highlighted in green. We now have a new naked single as a result of our previous move. Notice the possible 1 candidate in cell 9, 7 now highlighted in green. For the house making up column 7, there is only one cell having a possible 1 candidate. This is called a hidden single. As stated, our goal in using puzzle solving techniques is to do two things. First, we eliminate all possible candidates from a cell until we only have one remaining, and then we choose it as the value. Or second, we deduce a cell must be a certain number based on some reason or logic. We can deduce the cell 9, 7 must have a value of 1, because according to the rules, there must be at least one one in the house making up column seven. There are seven base techniques that are almost always required to solve any solvable Sudoku puzzle. Some are more common than others, but these seven are so frequent we will call them the seven base techniques. We will go through the detail of each technique in the next few slides. When looking for a naked single, we search through each cell in each row from left to right and top to bottom. We are looking for cells having only one remaining possible candidate. We have identified a naked single in cell 5, 6 which is now highlighted in green. We choose the one remaining possible candidate as the value for the cell. Many times setting a value in a cell will lead to more naked singles popping up. We now have a naked single in cell 5, 4 as shown. When looking for a hidden single, we search through all 27 houses. When a house only has one cell location for a possible candidate, we choose the one possible candidate for the cell even though other possible candidates may exist in the same cell. Consider the Sudoku in progress. All the cells having a possible one candidate are highlighted in green. We have found two hidden singles in the puzzle as shown. The first hidden single we find in cell 7, 1 and is in the house making up row 7. There is no other cell along the row having a possible 1 candidate. The second hidden single we find in cell 8, 5 and is in the house making up column 5. Again, there is no other cell in the column having a possible 1 candidate we can choose. We choose the value 1 for the cell 7, 1 and we choose the value 1 for the cell 8, 5. Notice how when we set the values for the two cells, another hidden single pops up in cell 6, 2. When looking for locked candidates, we search through all nine row houses and then all nine column houses. With each house, we are looking to see if cells shared with a block and row or a block and column determine if there are non-possible candidates. On the left, consider the Sudoku in progress. All the cells in the puzzle having a possible five candidate are highlighted in green. We have found type one lock candidates in the house making up row one and the house making up block one as shown. The two cells row 1, 2 and row 1, 3 have a possible 5 candidate. For the house making up block 1, these are the only two locations a 5 can be placed. This means a possible 5 candidate cannot be placed anywhere else but in the house making up block 1. The non-possible candidates to the right of block 1 in the house making up row 1 are now highlighted in dark red. We remove the non-possible candidates to the right of block 1. Next we are going to consider type 2 locked candidates. Just as before, when looking for locked candidates, we search through all 9 row houses and then all 9 column houses. With each house, we are going to see if cells shared with the block and row or block and column determine if there are non-possible candidates. On the left, consider this new Sudoku in progress. Again, all the cells in the puzzle having a possible 5 candidate are highlighted in green. 
We have found type 2 lock candidates in the house making up block 2 and the house making up column 6 as shown. The two cells row 2, 6 and row 3, 6 are the only two locations a possible 5 candidate can occur in the house making up column 6. This means all the other possible 5 candidates in the cells in block 2 not shared with the house making up column 6 are non-possible candidates as shown. We remove the non-possible candidates within block 2 as shown. When searching for a naked pair, we start by highlighting all the cells having exactly two possible candidates. We then search all 27 houses looking for two cells having the same two possible candidates. We have found a naked pair in the house making up row 6 as shown. The way the naked pair logic works is the value 5 and 8 can only occur in cells 6, 3 and 6, 4. The rest of the cells in the house making up the row 6 cannot have any possible 5 or 8 values. This is because both numbers are needed for the two cells highlighted in dark green. Notice how the kill zone is highlighted in red. We remove all the non-possible candidates from the house making up row 6 as shown. When searching for a hidden pair, we are going to look at possible candidates in each of the 27 houses. A special method for finding what is hidden will be explained by example. We are first concentrating on the house making up row 2. We have highlighted in dark red every possible candidate occurring more than twice. The result is there are no pairs of numbers remaining in the same cell. Next we will look at the house making up row 5. We highlight all the possible candidates occurring more than twice. The 1 8s form a naked pair, the 4s are by themselves, but the pair of 5 6 candidates are a hidden pair. We have found two cell candidates forming a hidden pair in the puzzle as shown. The possible 5 and 6 candidates can only occur in cells 5, 1 and 5, 2. This means the possible 2 candidate in cell 5, 1 is a non-possible candidate, and the possible 3 candidate in cell 5, 2 is a non-possible candidate. Notice how blocks 5, 6, and 7 support our decision we have found a hidden pair. These three blocks have 5 and 6 values and givens positioned perfectly to create the hidden pair. We remove the non-possible candidates from the house making up block 4 as shown. When searching for a naked triple, we look at sets of three cells in all 27 houses. It seems easier or best not to have any cells highlighted when searching for naked triples. The three cells contain two or three possible candidates each, and the three cells must only contain the same set of three possible candidates being considered. This will make more sense once you see an example. We have found a naked triple in the house making up block 2 as shown. The three cells making up the naked triple are highlighted in green. The possible candidates 1, 6, and 8 are all needed for these three cells. This means the 1, 6, and 8 cannot occur anywhere else in the house making up block 2. The possible 1 and 6 candidates in cell 1, 6 are non-possible candidates, and the possible 1, 6, and 8 candidates in cell 3, 6 are non-possible candidates. We remove the non-possible candidates from the house making up block 2. Naked triples can be composed of three cells having three possible candidates, or it can be the three cells each only have two possible candidates or the three cells can have some combination of two or three candidates per cell. The three cells making up a block type naked triple all occur in the same block. For a row type or column type naked triple, the three cells can occur in one, two, or three different shared blocks. When searching for an X-wing, we search through all the rows and all the columns looking for two sets of cells having an either or link between them. What is an either or link will be explained shortly. The two sets must also be lined up properly, which will also be explained shortly. To start this example, we have highlighted all the cells having a possible one candidate in green as shown. We have found an either or type link in the house making up row 4, now highlighted in dark green. An either or type link occurs between two of the same possible candidates within two different cells. With an either or type link, one cell is true or the other is false. Both cells cannot both be true and both cells cannot both be false at the same time. This means the possible one candidate is either in cell 4, 4 or the one is in cell 4, 8. The possible one candidate is in one cell or the other. 
Note the either or link can occur in either a row or column direction. We have an X-wing pattern now highlighted. Notice how the two sets of cells having either or type links are lined up within the same columns. This is especially important because it determines the kill zone shown highlighted in red. All the non-possible candidates in our kill zone are highlighted in dark red. Next we will consider the logic for how the X-wing pattern works in a Sudoku puzzle. Here is the first X-wing logic scenario. We have a value of 1 in the cell 4, 4 and a value of 1 in the cell 7, 8. This results in a value of 4 in the cell 7, 4 and a, either a 2 or 7 in the cell 4, 8 as indicated by the question mark. Notice by having a 1 in cells 4, 4 and 7, 8 results in all the target candidates in our kill zone being killed. Here is the second X-wing logic scenario. We have a value of 1 in cell 4, 8 and a value of 1 in cell 7, 4. This results in a value of 2 or 7 in cell 4, 4 and either a 4 or 8 in cell 7, 8 as indicated by the question mark. Notice by having a 1 in cells 4, 8 and 7, 4 results in all the target candidates in our kill zone being killed. Both scenarios result in all the target candidates in our kill zone being killed. Based on the logic, we must conclude the target candidates in our kill zone are non-possible candidates. We remove the non-possible candidates from the puzzle as shown. Notice how the X-Wing clears out all the possible 1 candidates from the cells in the vertical direction. And all the possible 1 candidates were already cleared out in the horizontal direction by having the two sets of either or type links. We are now going to do a step-by-step -step example of solving a puzzle from beginning to end. Consider the following Sudoku. We begin by looking for naked singles. We find naked singles now highlighted with red circles. We choose the values for the naked singles. We find another naked single. We choose the value for the naked single. We find more naked singles. We choose the values for the naked singles. We find another naked single. We choose the value for the naked single. We find another naked single. We choose the value for the naked single. At this point, we find no more naked singles. So we begin looking for hidden singles. We have highlighted all the cells having a possible one candidate in green. We find no hidden singles with the possible one candidates. All the cells having a possible two candidate are now highlighted. We find two hidden singles outlined in black. We choose the value for the hidden singles. A new naked single pops up and is now circled. We choose the value for the naked single. Two more naked singles pop up as shown. We choose the values for the naked singles and another naked single pops up. We choose the value for the naked single. We discover a naked pair in the house making up row 1. We eliminate the non-possible candidates. We discover another naked pair in the house making up row 1. We eliminate the non-possible candidates and another naked single pops up. We choose the value for the naked single. We are again looking for hidden singles. All the cells having a possible 3 candidate are now highlighted. We did not find any hidden singles with the possible 3 candidates. We are now highlighting all the cells having a possible 4 candidate. We find a hidden single. We choose the value for the hidden single. We are now highlighting all the cells having a possible 5 candidate. We find a naked pair in the house making up row 9 highlighted in dark green. The kill zone is highlighted in red and the target candidates to kill in dark red. We eliminate the non-possible candidates and we find a naked single now circled in red. We choose the value for the naked single. We continue looking for hidden singles. We are now highlighting the cells having the, a possible 6 candidate, but we do not find any hidden singles with the possible 6 candidate. We are now highlighting the cells having a possible 7 candidate. We do find a hidden single now outlined. We choose the value for the naked single. We have filled out all the 7s in the puzzle. We find a naked pair in the house making up column 3, as shown. We remove the non-possible candidates. We are now highlighting all the cells having a possible 3 candidate. We find a hidden single in column 3. We choose the value for the hidden single and we find another hidden single. 
We choose the value for the hidden single. We are now highlighting all the cells having a possible 8 candidate. We find another hidden single. We choose the value for the hidden single. We are now highlighting all the cells having a possible 1 candidate. We find another hidden single. We choose the value for the hidden single. We find several naked singles now circled in red. We choose the values for the naked singles and we find more naked singles. We are now on a run. We find more naked singles. The run continues. Naked singles are popping up everywhere. Stay on target. We're almost there. One more round of naked singles and this puzzle will be complete. The puzzle is now complete. You should be aware there's some really great Sudoku programs available for free. For your PC, there's Hadoku. Hadoku has a bit of a quirky user interface, but it's full of great features. There are a number of DX Hadoku videos just on using Hadoku listed on this slide. For your iPhone, there's a program called Sudoku Joy. Other than not having Hadoku's learning mode, it's just as good to use as Hadoku. And for your Android devices, the program to use is called Andoku 3. Again, Andoku 3 does not have Hadoku's learning mode, but still very good to learn and practice. We have user guide videos planned for both Sudoku Joy and Andoku 3 to be published in the near future. Subscribe to our channel to be updated. Next, we are going to discuss a general Sudoku puzzle solving algorithm. Many people have different strategies for solving Sudoku. This strategy requires the least amount of thought, assuming you are an expert at using the techniques referenced. The way the algorithm works is you keep repeating the seven base techniques until you get stuck. Once you get stuck, you keep trying more and more advanced techniques until you find something that works. So in conclusion, you've had a basic introduction to solving Sudoku puzzles. The next steps are to practice what you know and keep learning new techniques. Here is a list of techniques you can learn shown in increasing order of difficulty. Don't be discouraged by there being so many advanced techniques. Many people make a career out of solving Sudoku puzzles which only require the seven base techniques. Although it is nice to know the most advanced techniques, what is most important is you are having fun solving Sudoku puzzles. There are virtually an unlimited number of puzzles with every level of difficulty. This concludes the X Sudoku Beginner's Guide. Check the description below for a current list of all our DX Sudoku training videos. Please support DX Sudoku and thank you for watching.